Hello and welcome to the DEX Imaging Help Desk Instructions for Installing Windows Print Drivers for HP Enterprise Printers. We're going to show you how to download, install, and configure the HP Universal Print Driver, which should work across all HP Enterprise printers and copiers. So let's go ahead and dive in. We'll start by opening up a web browser. We're using Firefox in this example, but you can use Edge, Chrome, or whichever browser you're most comfortable with. And we'll head to www.deximaging.com slash service. Once on our service site, click Resources, then scroll down and click HP Downloads. If your browser blocks the site from opening, simply right-click the link and select Open in a new tab. Now that we're on the HP Download site, in the search bar here, we're going to type UPD. And you should see it auto-completes with two options here. We're going to select the Universal Print Driver series, not the Smart Universal Print Driver. Once that page loads, we'll click the plus sign to expand the Driver Universal Print Driver section, and then we're going to click Download next to the PCL6 version of the Universal Print Driver for Windows. That's going to start a download automatically. You should see it either in the top right corner, as in our example here, or in the bottom left corner if you're using Chrome or a similar browser. And once that finishes, we're going to double click it to open up that file. We can see that it opens a self-extractor. Make sure the checkbox is selected to run the installer when done, then click Unzip. And that will extract the files, and when it's finished, as soon as we click OK here, it will launch the driver installer itself. You can go ahead and read the software license agreement if you'd like, but to proceed, you must click Yes. We're going to install using the traditional mode, so click the bubble next to that, then click Next. That's going to bring up the Windows Add Printer Wizard. We're going to select to add a printer using an IP address or host name. You will need to know the IP address of your printer for this next step. To find it, on the home screen of the printer, tap the blue circle with an I in it at the top. Then select either Ethernet or Wireless, depending on how your printer connects to your network. The IP address will be listed on the screen. So we'll click the appropriate bubble here, then select Next. We've then got this Device Type drop-down box at the top here. We'll drop that down and select TCP slash IP device. Then, in the host name or IP address field, type the IP address of your printer, which will most likely be different than the example we're showing here. You'll notice the port name automatically populates, so we don't need to do anything with that. We'll just click Next, then select the HP Universal Printing PCL6 driver at the top and click Next again. If, as in our example here, you're prompted to use the current driver or replace it, select Replace. We're installing a new driver here after all. Then click Next. You'll be given the opportunity to name the printer whatever you'd like it to be called on the computer. Then click Next once again to begin installing the printer. That can typically take a few minutes, which we'll fast forward through here. Once it's finished, we'll make sure to select Do Not Share This Printer. Then click Next, then Finish. That's going to bring us back to the HP installer, as well as opening up our Devices and Printers window. And we see that the print queue is added to our list, but that the installer is still running configuring things. So if the Devices and Printers window opened over top of it, be sure to click back into the installer and wait for it to complete, which again can take a few minutes. Click Finish once the installer completes to close it. Then right click on the newly installed print queue in the list and select Printer Properties. Working from the top right to the bottom left in the tabs along the top, we'll start with Device Settings. Specifically, we're going to scroll down and look at the Job Accounting option. If your device requires a code to be entered for printing, you'll want to make sure this option is set to Enabled. We're going to go ahead and set this to Disabled for now in this example, as this machine actually does not require it. Moving on to the Security tab, we'll check the boxes next to Allowed for Manage This Printer and Manage Documents. And click Apply afterwards to apply the changes. Next, we'll head to the Advanced tab and select Printing Defaults. In the Printing Defaults window that pops up, select the Finishing tab and ensure that Print on both sides is unchecked. If your machine is a color printer, select the Color tab at the top. We strongly recommend you check the box for Print and Grayscale, then select Black Only in the drop-down box that appears below it. You can still choose to go into the options of a print job and print color, but this will help prevent accidental color prints. For example, even a text-only PDF may contain color layers that will count it as a color print job if the driver is not told to do black only. Click OK when finished making changes to close the printing defaults window. Next, we'll select the Ports tab 
then click Configure Port. Uncheck the box at the bottom for SNMP status enabled, which can cause some communication issues, then click OK. Finally, we'll move on to the General tab. Click Preferences and just confirm that the settings we configured in the Printing Defaults window carried over. If they did not, reapply the settings on the Color and Finishing tabs, then click OK. And we're ready to send a test print and make sure that everything is working OK. However, if your machine does use codes for printing, there is an additional step. So let me head back to our Device Settings tab and Enable Job Accounting and we'll quickly show you how to configure that. We'll head to the Advanced tab and back into Printing Defaults. And you can see now with the settings enabled, we've got an extra tab for job accounting at the top. Select that and drop down the accounting type box and select user access code only. If you wish to always send the same code with every print from this computer, type the code into the field here. If instead you would like to have a pop-up prompt to enter a code each time you print, check the box for always prompt when printing. Click OK when finished to close the printing defaults and you're good to go. There you have it, we've got the HP UPD installed and configured and hopefully you were able to test printing and everything is good to go. Thank you for watching the Dex Imaging Help Desk channel. Please like the video if you found this helpful and subscribe for more informational content like this.